Senses Poems by Glowworm. I like. I like the taste of toothpaste tingling on my tongue. I like the smell of sausages nuzzling at my nose. I like the feel of sunshine flickering on my face. I like the sound of bells echoing in my ears. I like the sight of fairground lights flashing in the dark. By Moira Andrew. Kitchen sounds. Porridge gloops a sizzle. A porridge gloops, a sausage sizzles, the toaster clangs, the kettle whistles, washing spins, people chatter, knives chop, dishes clatter, taps gush, pans clink, water gurgles in the sink. The light clicks off, night time comes, and in the dark the freezer hums. By Richard James. Cookie sensations. When I see a cookie in the baker's shop, my mouth starts to water and my eyes go pop. When I hold the cookie in a paper bag, the crackle and the smell start to drive me mad. But when I bite the cookie and begin to eat, the sound is crunchy and the taste is sweet. By Tony Mitten. Sounds like magic. I listened to a seashell and thought I could hear the rushing of the waves inside my ear. I held an empty eggshell close against my head and thought I heard a pecking chick hatching from its bed. I found a hollow coconut and listened for a sound and thought I heard horses' hooves pounding on the ground. I took an empty teacup to see what I might hear and thought I heard a giant's voice booming in my ear, Celia Warren. Smelly story. I love the smell of bonfires in November rain. I hate the smell of smoky air inside a crowded train. I love the smell of apple pie swimming in thick cream. I hate the smell of soggy sprouts or cabbage or sardine. I love the smell of salty seas or sand beneath my toes. I hate the smell of sweaty socks just underneath my nose by Judith Nichols. I can see you now. When I first met my blind friend Grace, she said, will you please let me touch your face? I felt her gentle hands upon my skin. She felt my lips and eyebrows, then my nose and cheeks and chin. Last of all, she felt my hair and gently held my head. Then with a lovely smile, I can see you now, she said by Eric Finney. The Young Fox. At night, the young fox pokes its head out of its den beneath the shed. It listens with its pointed ears to hear if there is danger near. Its sharp nose sniffs the air and tells if there are any dangerous smells. Its sharp eyes peer from left to right, watching for movements in the night. If it senses it's safe, then up it leaps, and off across the field it creeps. John Foster Grandad's Beard my grandad bends to cuddle and kiss me, but sometimes I wish that he would miss me. His beard always scrapes and scratches. My cheek gets to feel like a box of matches. By John Kitching. Thank you for watching.